What's up guys? Welcome back to a new Diving Life tutorial. And today we're going to talk about loops and how to swing your loops. Usually when people use loops, the loops have their own swing. So they don't really work in the groove that you are using. So in this track that I'm uh, making here, uh, let me play you a bit. This is the groove. You can hear it has a nice swing to it. And that's the swing, the Logic 16th, 63 swing, 100%. And I use this on especially these heads to make them more swingy. But what if I would add a loop? So if we go to, uh, well, not this. If we go to a loop, let's see. And we could try this one, see how it fits. It's not really working, it's a bit clashy. So what we could do is Command A inside of the clip and then Shift Command U to go to the quantize. You could also get there by going to quantize here. Then you can like quantize the notes 100% to 1 /16. So if I do this, it will move everything exactly on the grid and then I can say, okay, for all the 16th notes, I wanna have the same swing. And because we first made it straight, then we can apply the groove. So now it's applying my groove. It's slightly changing it. Maybe we can make it complex pro. Let's see. Maybe complex. Maybe make it a bit tighter. So this works way better than if it wasn't warped, than if we didn't have that swing. So without the swing would be this, it's a mess, and with the swing. So the loop might sound a bit more strange, so you notice that when I put it on, it was a bit strange, the clap. But it's pretty cool, and with the transient on, on this guy, it will be a bit more, a bit more tight. Which is cool, I could add this somewhere in the track, maybe here towards the end, so we have, we can maybe make it a bit softer. Have another layer, why not? We call this our top loop, right? Rename top loop and we can put it into the hired group great so that's that's a great way of adding loops to your um to your tracks let's maybe try another one these are a bit too big nice loops though uh maybe here maybe we want to do some top loops Let's see how this sounds. Let's do one more. Put this in. It sounds pretty good, but we can try to apply the same technique. So we can select all of them, go to edit, quantize. So now it's quantized in 1 16th. Take the loop off. See, this will sound way better. And then, of course, you can also take your clip gain and take things out. Maybe you only want to have this this last little bit there. You know that we, you know, just two two hits there. Maybe three here. And then two there, you know, so it's nice. And you can also make them a bit different. Oh. oh, make them a bit different in length. So bring the height to make them less, less loud or change the velocity this way.
that's pretty cool to you. So this way I hope that you can work more with audio loops, um, quantize them to a 1 16th note, and then swing them with the swing you are using in your project in order to gain, um, yeah, more tight grooves because you really want your groove to be tight and not to have all different swings going on in your track at the same time. So this was it, the diving live tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, like, and share, whatever you know the deal. And um, I'll see you at the next one.